that I actually get a lot of questions about is like the financial aspects of um, tuition. What yeah. programs um, did you have access to that was able to uh, help fund, fund your tuition? Like student loans, scholarships, stuff like that. Can you dive a little bit deeper into those things? Yeah, for sure, man. Like for me, especially like financial support was a big component to my survival in university, man. For international students, man, I don't know, depending for some, it's, the, first of all, for international students, tuition is like grossly significant than domestic students. It makes sense to me. I'm not complaining about that. I'm not trying to say domestic and international tuition should be the same. It shouldn't. <laughs> I understand. But it is expensive. Yeah. Uh, so, for example, just to give an idea, like UBC, it was average, let's just say, 32000 for my four years there. Um, and I wasn't even just there for four years. I was there for six years. So every year it's increasing. So if you – and that's one of the disadvantages with co-op. Um, that one of the disadvantages with co-op is you spend more time in university. So you see a lot more – by the time you're graduating, you've paid a lot more uh, a lot higher tuition than mm -hmm. people who finished in the four years. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, plus also, even if you're in co-op, you're not enrolled in university, but you're still paying for university. To stay enrolled, you still have to pay some student dues. You know what I mean? Yeah. Paying for stuff that you never even know use. about or use. Yeah. As, so, that's the game. That's the game. If you want to stay, you got to, <laughs> you know you what I mean? You got to pay the taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to pay taxes, man. So even when you're, and you're also paying co-op fees, um, in fact, you know, that's how the co-op student uh, program thrives is you pay taxes to them as well. You're like, you're getting paid. Well, you know, yeah, that's human. I ain't complaining. That's how human society is. You gotta just, everyone's gotta, you know, be fed. <laughs> Your success has gotta feed the community. That's, that's all right. That's fair. But anyway, um, so for me, tuition was always a conversation. It was stress. Um, and so I was seeking multiple sources of uh, funding my tuition. And as an international student, the thing is, you're not eligible for government support, like government's school fees, not school fees, but rather subsidies or uh, rather government like uh, bursaries or grants, you know, government funded uh, tuition kickbacks. You're not eligible for none of that. So, and UBC is a public university. So UBC can't give you a scholarship. Um, Wait, why is that? Or they can give you, now they give you entrance awards, but they don't give you like, cause it's government money, it's public money. Public money doesn't fund international stu tu oh. student tuition. So that's pretty much it. So, but now U UBC as a university also has an endowment fund from private uh, donors. So they also have private money. They have public money and they have private money. So the private money is what that one can fund international students. And in the pro program, like in um faculty I was in, applied science, they get a, they also get like, you know, everyone gets uh, like a part of the budget. Everyone has a budget that they can use money. Um, so the faculty of applied science, they had um, scholarships from private donors for international students. So the, there was somewhere you have to be a Canadian. There was somewhere, uh, as long as you pass this criteria, whether you're domestic or international, you can qualify for it. So those are the ones like I worked at earning and the, like the ones I get, I got. So there's merit based and there's uh, need based. You know what I mean? So merit is like you did good in school academically, so you get a scholarship. You're in the top percent of your class, so you get a scholarship. So those are the ones I mostly relied on. And there's others, there's need-based. Um, need-based is harder to prove need, but there's also need-based um, private money that they give international students, you know what I mean? So those are the options available. And then also on the internet, there's private you know, companies that have scholarships that you can apply for so you know it's not just the scholarships in university but there's also like just international programs and you just go to them you know an international company um 